everyone, I'm Carly and welcome to my channel. I'm new here so I'm just going to do a little book haul today to show you what I'm currently reading and what I'm going to be reading and what's going to come up for my wrap ups. So first of all I am reading Diving Bells by Lucy Wood. This is a collection of short stories set in Cornwall. So they're kind of everyday life but with an uncanny and uh, folklore bent. I'm really loving them halfway through at the moment. I'm reading this for my book club which is tomorrow so I have to finish it. Um, yeah they're all a bit ethereal and mystical and a bit uncanny and it's all to do with the sea and mermaids and fairies and I love all that so it's right up my street. Loving that so far. Um, next up I'm also reading English Animals by Laura Kay. This has been doing the rounds on booktube and has been recommended by Jen Campbell. I'm only 100, 100 pages in on this so far. It's about Mirka who is a Slovakian woman um, who has a break with her family and comes to England to work in a English manor house for a couple called Richard and Sophie. Um, they have odd ways of making money and one of them is taxidermy so Mirka is um, employed to help Richard with taxidermy. So it's about her coming to this house, finding about out about them, how they live and um, I think it's also to do with the nuance of language because she speaks English very well but um, it's a journey for her about finding out about these people and also about the way that we use language as a native speaker so that's um, really interesting I'm loving this at the moment as well okay and next up a poetry collection uh, which is No Matter the Wreckage by Sarah Kay I don't often read much poetry but I'm trying to get into it at the moment and this one was recommended by Jen Campbell it's really accessible uh, I've only read a couple of poems from this so far I really like it though for, for me poetry has to be accessible and this is if I can read it and go that was nice rhythm that was something that I could appreciate and it didn't go completely over my head then it's good and I think this is going to be good so I'll let you know how I get on with that one okay some of these books I got for my birthday recently um when I say I got them, I spent my birthday money on these books. Um, so this has been on my wish list for a while, Gingerbread by Helen Oyeyemi. Um, I've only ever read one of her books before, which is The Icarus Girl, and from what I understand they're all um, slightly uncanny, and this uh, is similar. So it's riffing on um, the theme of gingerbread from folk tale and fairy tale. Uh, it's about a mother and daughter who make gingerbread and I think the daughter goes on a quest to find her mother's old childhood friend Gretel. Um, that's all I know about it other than it's a bit strange. So really looking forward to reading this, we'll let you know how I get on with that. Uh, next up I've got Bodies of Light by Sarah Moss. Um, I've also got up on my shelf Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. I haven't read it yet. I know everyone's loving her at the moment, so I wanted to get on board with that. Um, this book is about two sisters growing up in Victoria, Manchester. Uh, sounds like their parents are somewhat austere and evangelical. Um, they take two different paths. One is uh, poses for artists in her father's circle, and the other one wants to train to be a female doctor. Hurrah! Um, something happens and Ali leaves home to um, make a new life in London. Love anything set in Victoria and London. Love it. So looking forward to this. We'll let you know how I get on with that one. Uh, also going to read Ghost Wall at some point. It's only short so it shouldn't take me too long. Next up I have Amanda Palmer, The Art of Asking. Um, which was recommended to me by my friend Holly and I've seen other people on booktube mention it as well. Uh, from what I can tell this is a little bit about her life but also a kind of a manifesto for uh, creativity and um, asking for help if you need it. So I didn't know much about Amanda Palmer until my friend Holly uh, told me about her and I know that she's married to Neil Gaiman who is also a total ledge so 
what a power couple that is. So looking forward to reading this and hopefully it will spur me on in my creative endeavours. <laughs> and last, I have got, uh, got this out of my library, The Heart's Invisible Furious by John Boyne. Um, I'd not heard of John Boyne. I've, I've watched uh, Boy in the Striped Pyjamas, the film, but not read the book. Uh, this one was recommended by Lauren from Lauren in the Books. Big old book. Like a 700 pager, this one. Um, about the life of some dude in Ireland um, who sounds like his mother um, was 16 when she got pregnant, therefore had to give a baby to nuns, like you do when you're 16 and pregnant in Ireland. And it's about his life and a quest for belonging and happiness. I think apparently quite heart wrenching, um, but I know that Lauren was really excited about it, so I was like, I'm gonna get in on that. Uh, yeah, so seems awesome. Got a big stack of books there. Um, that's my haul for April. I have just read uh, *Spring* by Ali Smith, which is something that I am writing about for my PhD. I am doing uh, a part-time PhD at Birkbeck in London and I'm looking at contemporary women's experimental writing. So I'm looking at Ali Smith, Maggie Nelson, Nicola Barker and Emma McBride. Nearly forgot them. Uh, so I'd be interested if you've read any of their books. Do get in touch because I want to talk about it. Um, if you've read any of these books, if you plan to read any of those books, let me know in the comments below, subscribe to my channel if any of these books appeal to you and hopefully we can talk about it. So I will do a wrap up probably in a few days time of the books I'm currently reading. Um, hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.